Good morning, everybody. I have been out of commission for the past four to five days, including my member stream yesterday and my Storms Live live stream that I normally do on Sundays. Um, unfortunately, I have a broken tooth in my jaw. It got severely abscessed and infected. Went to the dentist to get it removed. It was so infected that the dentist could not remove the tooth. He said if he even tried, I would end up in the emergency room. So I've been on antibiotics and painkillers for the past four days. Just kind of when I wasn't in pain, I was just kind of like laying back, playing video games, trying to sleep until I finally was starting to feel better. Feel a little bit better today. The pain isn't so severe. My mouth isn't so tight. And today I want to talk about the Mario brother movie because this movie is continuing just to make tons of money at the box office and we're gonna go over what it made this past weekend it still retained the number one spot only dropping 40 percent like that is absolutely insane normally if you drop 50 percent it's good right normal movies usually drop between 55 to 65 percent usually within that time in, in that percentage that's usually the uh percentage of which a movie drops and normally like, like, like sometimes you have like a big blockbuster movie like a marvel movie it'll drop even higher like maybe 70 percent you know 75 percent really really bad but in this case of this movie it only dropped 40 percent bringing in 87 million dollars again on its second weekend and its total gross right now worldwide is 677 million almost at 678 million worldwide they're, they're already predicting that this movie is going to cross a billion i said months ago that the super mario brothers movie is going to cross a billion dollars when you look at this movie and you look at the fan base and the people that grew up with the mario movie this is a film that people want to see they want to bring their kids to their grandparents want to like, like everybody's involved right there's so many different generations of families that that love mario that know who mario is so i used to like make the joke where people in my live stream when i said yeah it's gonna cross a billion dollars and they snicker or laugh like what dude it's Mario you have no idea how big this IP is now there are a few people out there that actually think that the Evil Dead movie is going to have a chance to take out Mario next week and personally I just don't think that's the case whatsoever there's no way that that's going to happen and the reason for it and this is not a, a, a knock on the fans of that franchise you also have to understand this Evil Dead and horror movies are a very niche audience, right? A very niche fan base. So it doesn't have that rapid fan base like an animated or family film would have. You look at something like Mario, it's benefiting from the fact that it is a family film. That it's a family film, it's an animated film, kids of all ages can go see this, parents, grandparents, uncles, and everybody can go see this movie. Whereas you look at something like a Evil Dead Rises and it's rated R that already eliminates any younger audience to go. It's really going to be for adults only. The Evil Dead franchise is very, very niche in itself. And personally, I just don't see them being able to knock out Mario from the number one spot. Even if Mario would the drop 50% next weekend, that still makes Mario over $40 million next weekend. Even if it drops 60 million or 60% next weekend that still puts it at a higher percentage of being able to be evil dead evil dead i predict probably will only make maybe maybe about 20 million at its roof i, I honestly think evil dead is going to be like a 10 to 15 million dollar movie i think 20 million is going to be its ceiling i honestly think evil dead and this is me God, I know there's going to be a lot of people upset in the comments. I'm not criticizing your movie. It might be a fantastic movie. I'm not hating on it. I'm not criticizing it. I'm just putting out the facts. If you are a fan of something like that, you should know that it's a very niche a niche property in a niche genre. I'm a massive fan of Clerks, right? I love Kevin Smith. I love the Clerks movies. I knew last year when Clerks 3 came out, it wasn't going to make a bajillion dollars, right? I knew it wasn't going to dethrone anything at the box office, but I went and go and saw it because I am a fan of that franchise. I wanted to see how that trilogy was going to end. I never once went in going, man, this is going to take out this movie, this movie. No, no. You have to understand 
if you love a genre or you love a franchise of film, you need to know where your franchise is playing. In. Evil Dead Rise, I again, I first of all, I don't have no interest in going to see it personally. I've never been a fan of the Evil Dead movies, but I know that there is a very loyal cult fan base. But you also under have to understand that it's a cult fan base, much like Kevin Smith film, that these movies aren't gonna rack in, you know hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars so i think it has a shot between 10 to 15 million and you want me to be honest with you i think that's a long shot to be honest with you especially when you look at something like the, a recent horror movie right now the pope's exorcist only made nine million on its opening weekend okay so that's just one that is just one type of scenario to go by you can't really go by because i believe you know Evil Dead is a much more popular franchise, and Pope's Exorcist isn't really built on a franchise, so that's just one way to go about it, but when you kind of compare the two, you just, there's no way in, in holy monkey hell that the Evil Dead Rise movie is going to dethrone Mario. I think Mario is going to maintain the number one spot next weekend, and then we're also going to see it is going to cross a billion here within the next two weeks or so. Um, I, I think Mario is doing fantastic. I think a lot of people who underestimate it are now kind of eat their words, and I, I personally love the movie. I wanted to go see it again last week, but I just did not have an opportunity with everything that was going on um, with my tooth and the infection and everything like that, but I want to know what you guys think. Do you think there's a chance that even Evil Dead will take out Mario. Um, try not to use your personal opinion to come up with that answer. Actually use logic and logically let's be honest and let's have a discussion in the comments below whether you guys think that yes, Evil Dead could possibly take out Mario because I have no problem doing a video next week going, I told you so. But anyway, guys, on a serious note though, thank you all so much. Uh, a lot of kind words from all of you guys in the comments. Um, when I talked about my tooth and the infection and everything, I just want to say thank you guys so much. I appreciate all of you guys, and hopefully you all stay safe. I'm still having a hard time talking. I'm still learning all over my words. But hopefully you guys all have a good day and stay safe. And until next time, guys, I'm Robert Storms, and that's my opinion.